destroyed the plans to build the shale gas in the village of Woodsex here in Rotherham. Woodsex is the third place in a small area where the energy firm Ineos wants to test whether conditions are suitable to extract shale gas. Last week, Ineos secured an injunction stopping anti fracking protests for trespassing or obstructing work at its site. We'll speak to them in just a moment's time, but first, Charlotte Leamy, you can hear from local people. Woodsex is a quiet village near Rotherham, historically a farming community. The stunning countryside now attracts people who want to escape the hustle and bustle of towns and cities. But residents now fear its serenity could be shattered. The energy firm Ineos wants to drill an exploratory well to look for shale gas. The proposals of taking villages are a complete surprise. There were probably four or five uh, pickup type trucks, and I would say at least a dozen people in high heat jackets uh, walking around the field putting in these sort of posters that we were looking at. The notices were put up by Ineos. The energy giant secured a high court injunction preventing anyone from trespassing or obstructing work on this hectare of land. As news spread through the village of the weekend, so did concern. Woodsex is a, is a rural village, it's surrounded by farmland. Uh, you know, and suddenly we're going to be having, well, certainly in the initial stages, quite a lot of heavy duty, you know, ATV lorries that are coming in and out of the village. The map of potential fracking or drilling sites is growing in our region. As well as Woodsex, Ineos has submitted applications for drilling five miles down the road at Hart Hill in Bodrum and at Marsh Lane in Derbyshire. Test drilling has been approved at Missing near Bawtry and Tinker Lane near Blythe. And the situation is more advanced at Kirby Misperton in North Yorkshire. Third Energy is waiting for government approval to start fracking there in a matter of weeks. Another community that's concerned about potential gas drilling is Hart Hill, who yesterday organised a village protest walk and picnic. What effect will it have on our air quality pollution? Because there are thousands of trucks involved, diesel trucks. What effect could it have on our water if, if the well facing do fail or break? Where does the water go to and come back up? People have turned out because they are frightened for the village, really. They, they don't want this company making an industrialised mess of our local fields. And that's the thing with fracking, it's incredibly controversial. The process involves liquid being pumped deep underground at high pressure to fracture shale rock. This releases gas or oil trapped within it. It's a relatively new concept in the UK and places where it's got the go-ahead, like Kirby Misperton, have seen high-profile protests. In Woodsex, though, things are at an exploratory stage and up for consultation, but there are clear signs here that some people aren't happy. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, Woodsex. Well, Lynn Calder is Ineos Shale's commercial director. She says an injunction against trespassers is to protect the public from what she calls militant activists. She <sighs> insists what the company is doing is safe. At the moment, we're really just focusing on the very early steps of a scientific data gathering. So we are undertaking seismic, which is taking a picture of the underground. And we're drilling vertical excavation wells to simply take some core samples. So there is nothing flowed back to the surface and no current fears about water contamination or, or anything of that nature. Why do you go to the trouble of securing an injunction to stop trespass or obstruction? Don't you think the people have the right to protest? It, it seems rather heavy-handed in these initial kind of processes. Yeah, we absolutely do believe that people should have the right to peaceful protest and there will be no difference um, as a result of these injunctions to how people can undertake those rights of peaceful protest. Uh, all the he didn't really get off on the right foot though, did he? You, I think he probably ticked people off. They were unhappy, uh, you know, at the way they found out. There was no prior warning, no, fly no flyers or anything. It's not exactly the way to win people over, is it? Well, I think our sense is that what we are doing is trying to protect members of the public. We're trying to protect our sites, our people and our suppliers from harassment from a relatively small minority of militant activists. Um, so we think that the public should be very... Um, confident about the fact that we're, we're doing that to take that route of protecting them um, and as I say in the meantime there is there is no change to the rights of peaceful protest. I think one thing people were, were quite annoyed about that we spoke to is the fact that this is a public footpath, it's a wide and way, it's not, it's not some extraneous field on the outskirts of town, this is going to affect people's day-to-day -day lives isn't it? Well, the, um, the rights of, of, of way are, are still available. Um, it's really the sites and, as I say, people, members of the public and our suppliers that we're seeking to, to protect.
And will the consultation process be an open one? Are you going to listen to residents? Absolutely. We, we listen to residents wherever we uh, propose wild sites. So at the moment um, in Wood 6, we are in phase one of the planning process in which we have submitted an environmental impact assessment screening report um, to Rotherham Metropolitan Borough Council for, for determination um, and consideration. The next phase will be a full planning process uh, during which the public will have absolute right of consultation and we will be in, as I say, the region, we will be there um, conducting an exhibition um, there to talk to the public at any time really um, and we would also encourage um, community liaison groups so that we can um, pass on information and receive information so it's very important for us to listen to what the, the, the main concerns are of the local residents. Lynn, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you. Later on Look North.